In this video, I want to show you how to solve question 10, chapter 5. Determine the components of the support reactions at the fixed support A on the cantilever beam. As you can see in the figure, we have a cantilever beam with a fixed support at point A and we have a force of 6 kN downward and there is another force of 4 kN with 30 degrees angle with respect to the horizontal line. So the first step like all questions is that we have to draw the free body diagram. But you have to remember that in fixed support when we want to draw a free body diagram at the point of support, we will have two forces in a 2D problem that I showed with a X and a Y, and also we will have a momentum that I show it with another color, MA or just M. Okay so here we assume that M is counterclockwise, AX is to the right, and AY is upward. We have to do the calculations and finally, we will find the numerical results. If the values that we will find be positive the assumed directions are all right, otherwise the assumed directions are false and we have to use the opposite direction as the answer. Now here we start with the momentum equation. Always we will start with the momentum equation sigma m and will write the momentum equation around a point with the most unknown forces. Here point a is the best choice so we will write sigma m a equal to zero and we assume a positive direction for the momentum. We assume the positive direction is counterclockwise. By doing this in fact we are removing the momentum of AX and AY from the equation because the distance from point A is zero for these two forces. Here we have momentum M, so we write M, the momentum of this 6 kN force is counterclockwise around point A, because it tend to rotate the system counterclockwise about point A. Hence, it will be negative and it is equal to the force times the distance, here 6, times the distance, which is 1.5 meters, and for the other force, for kN force, we have to project it to its components. So here we will have a force in the horizontal direction and the value is for cosine 30 because it's adjacent to the angle 30 and the vertical component which is opposite to this 30 degree angle is for sine 30. Okay now the perpendicular distance of this for sine 30 from point A is this distance. Which is equal to 1 and a half, plus 1 and a half, plus this distance, which is 1 and a half cosine 30, and that's 4.30 meters. And the perpendicular distance of the other force, this for cosine 30 from point A is this distance, which is equal to 1.5 sine 30 which would be 0.75 meters. So the momentum of these four sine 30 force is clockwise. Hence, it's negative, and the value is for sine 30 times the perpendicular distance, which is 4.3 meter. The other force also makes a clockwise momentum around point A. So the value of the momentum is negative for cosine 30 times the distance which is 0.75. The summation of all momentums is equal to zero, so from here we can find the momentum 20.20 kilonewtons meter. Okay, now in order to find the forces AX and AY we should write the force equilibrium. Sigma FX, positive to right is equal to zero. AX plus for cosine 30 is equal to zero. So AX is equal to negative 3.46 kN. And this negative sign means that the assumed direction is false and the correct direction is opposite to the assumed direction, and it will be to the left. And from sigma FY, positive upward equal to 0, we will have AY minus 6 minus 4 sine 30 is equal to 0. So AY can be found from this equation, and it's equal to 8 kN. And the assumed direction is just all right, and it's upward. Thank you so much for your attention. Please share the content with your friends, subscribe us, and let me know if you have any problems in the comments, thanks.